Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of area, perimeter, and volume. This is standard 5.4H in the great state of Texas. and We are using item number 24 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a perimeter of a rectangular tablecloth. So let me draw a rectangle down here. And we need to remember the difference between perimeter and area, right? So perimeter's got that word rim in there. And if you think of a basketball rim, right, it's a, it's a metal circle that's empty on the inside and it's got the metal around the outside for the basketball to go through. So the prim is going, the, the perimeter is going to go around. So I'm going to say 320 inches around, all the way around, all four sides. The area is what we're looking for on the inside if they ask us for the area. Now the width is 70. So we can go ahead and just label, let's just label one of these sides as 70. So 70 inches. We know if this is 70, then we know that the other side is also going to be 70. They don't tell us that, but we know that you know the two sides are going to be equal. So I'm looking for the length, right? So if I know that those two are 70, here's my unknown number. What is this length right here? I'll put a question mark on that side as well. Well, if we look at our formula chart, it might help us if we're used to using formulas. And you see the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2L plus 2W. It's that second one from the top. So how does that help us? Well, let's, let's write that. P equals 2L plus 2W. Well, I know what some of these quantities are. The perimeter, they already told us, that's the P, is 320. So I'm going to replace the P with a 320. The length is what we're looking for. So that's the L. We do know what that width is. It's a 70. I'm going to replace that W with a 70. Okay. So if I were to draw this as a strip diagram, I would say my whole total is 320. Right? And then I'm looking at my four sides. My four sides, I'm going to break this up into four parts. Right? Each of those parts represent a side. I know that two of those sides make 70. And then two of my sides are going to be, you know, my length. That's what I'm looking for. That's my L. I'm looking for the side of one length. So what can I do there? Well, if I take a look at these two right here, that's going to be 140. So here's my question. How much do I have left? If the whole thing is 320, and I've already used 140 because I had to double the length, let's see what we have left. 320 minus 140. So let's subtract there. Right, we're going to regroup. We make that a 12. Right, so that's going to be 180. Now I see that here, but watch what I did. I just found the quantity for both lengths. Okay, because if I take my 180 and my 140, that's going to add back up to my 320. That's my perimeter. But I don't want the side of both lengths together. I want the side of one length. So I need to take this 180. So let's transfer this to a new one. If my 180 is my new total here, I've got two lengths right here. And we know that they're equal. So I need to split that in half. How do I split that 180 in half? Well, Think of this 18. What would 18 divided by 2 be? 18 divided by 2. That's going to, going to be 9. So 180 divided by 2 is going to equal 90. So I'm thinking each of these is going to be 90. Now how can I verify? Well, let's see if all four sides equal up. If I do 90, 90, 70, 70, what does that get me? Well, 9 and 9 is going to make 18. 7 and 7 is going to make 14. Yeah, that's that 32. So it is going to equal back up to that 320. So the length is not going to be that 180. It's going to be that 90 because that's half of the 180. So my answer is C.